This is a demonstration of an issue I found when setting up my FT991A for SSTV and how I resolved that issue. It's not something I've seen documented elsewhere. Uh, to begin, I've already set the basic settings in the options of MMSSTV. I've got the correct sound card, uh, the COM port, for PTT control, that sort of thing. The FT991A is in data USB mode. USB in this case uh, standing for upper sideband rather than universal serial bus. I've got menu items 70 to 72 set like this. So data in select is rear, data PTT select RTS, data port select USB. Uh, so basically that kind of should be good to go. If I hit TX on uh, MMSS TV, we'll see what happens. I'm showing the ALC uh, indication and by the way the rig's running 50 watts into a dummy load at the moment so if I hit the TX button on MMSS TV then we can hear that that's going out I've got the monitor turned on on the rig so we can hear the modulation and on the face of it that looked like it was working the only slightly odd thing to note I'll do it again is that the level of the ALC is fluctuating quite wildly as I transmit. Let me do a, another transmission. You see there's quite a lot of variation of the uh, ALC level there, which is a little bit odd. Um, if I transmit a steady tone of 1200 Hz, have a look at the ALC indication. This is 1200 Hz. That's just nice, just below the uh, maximum possible uh, setting. If I set the uh, metering to show the uh, the power level, I missed it first time round. There we go, that's 50 watts, that's exactly what we'd expect. But if I send a higher frequency, let's go to 1900 Hz, which is the middle of the SSTV passband, and transmit again, still with the power meter at... Uh, uh, showing what should be the 50 watt level. Here we go. Oops, hit the wrong button. Try this 1900. Ooh, tiny, tiny amount of power. That should be 50 watts. And uh, it's very, very low indeed. We go up even higher. Uh, go to 2300 hertz. Hit the button. Hard to see anything going out at all. So there definitely seems to be uh, an issue with the tone levels that the uh, FT991 is transmitting. Now the fix I found is to go to the menu items again, find a way down to uh, 60, uh, let's get it right. Oh, I hate this uh, up and down business on these uh, <laughs> menus. <laughs> Ah, those are the ones I want. Other, shift, defaults to zero. Now I've found that if I go to that, put that in the middle of the SSTV passband, I'm going to set it to 1900 hertz, which is right in the middle of the passband. And I'm also going to go to other disp, which I see means display. It's effectively an offset of the display. So I'm going to go to that and I'm also going to set that to 1900 hertz. Uh, it takes a moment just to wind it all the way up to 1900. Enter. Just touch the frequency back down because I moved by accident. Come out of that. Now let's try our 2300 hertz again. I'm still showing uh, power on the metering here. Oh, we've got 50 watts. That's exactly what we want. Go to 1900 hertz and send that tone. And that's also 50 watts. And go to 1200 hertz. Send the tone. And we've still got... 50 watts. Put the metering back to ALC. Send my little test image again in robot 36 mode. 
and we have very little fluctuation of the ALC and if I go to uh, power a small variation but really insignificant compared to what we had before now exactly what the effect you'd see uh, if you didn't make those changes on a received signal I, I think you'd find the white frequencies would, would get very noisy because basically towards the, the lighter end of the image you would be transmitting very very low power nothing like the, uh, the full power that you'd set the rig to um, modulation on SSTV is basically FM and the tones from the sync frequency of 1200 Hertz right across the video pass band from 1500 to 2300 Hertz should be as, as flat and level as possible uh, so I think making those two changes uh, significantly enhances the, uh, the quality of your transmitted signal on SSTV with the FT991A so I hope you found that useful and uh, hope you enjoy your slow scan thanks for watching